welcome to the class today we are here with a new topic principles of physical geography under that section in our syllabus it is formation of earth so as we live on earth we must know how our earth was originated how it came into existence okay so from the different geographers different scientists they did research and they came upon the solution that how earth was formed but no one can claim that that solution that theories related to origin of earth was right there are many theories related to origin of earth okay so out of that theory in your syllabus for this year it is given big bang theory okay we'll be dealing with later on so before that let us know the different uh, theories given uh, the by the different geographers so number one was theories number one is the gaseous mass hypothesis of kant so he talked about the gaseous theory related to origin of the earth next is nebular hypothesis of lapas third one is tidal hypothesis of jeans and jeffries fourth one is the electromagnetic theory of hans and the last one is the big bang theory which you will read in this syllabus so before dealing with this big bang theory first let me talk with you about the general what the general what is the general theory of the origin of the earth how earth came into existence okay now it is believed that all the planets all the different planets in the solar system were once the part of the sun and because of the explosion from the sun they were scattered around the sun but because of the gravitational pull of the sun they were they are still revolving around the sun so earth was one of that earth was also formed from sun and it was the third planet okay after that earth started to take an orbital revolution around the sun as it was also part of sun so it was also a hot a hot planet so wherever the the earth was uh, revolving around the era uh, revolving on its orbit around the sun so wherever it goes it were, it was forming lots of clouds lots of clouds when these clouds were formed there was enormous number of clouds after that there was plenty of rainfall on earth and earth become a watery planet okay earth become a watery planet earth was firstly full of water from the up and from the down it was like uh, the different layers that core okay crust mantle core so first it was watery planet <coughs> after some time after few years few million years there was origination of only one continent the name of the continent was pangea what pangea so when pangea came to existent the ocean surrounding this pangea was named as panthalasa ocean pangea surrounded by panthalasa ocean now as it was floating as it was floating mass so it was divided into two parts it was divided into two parts that is angara land and kodwana land and between them there was a sea named thetis sea while we are uh, talking about himalayas himalayas still have the sediments of thetis sea now these two were the angara land and kodwana land only after that it came because of the uh, plate tectonic movement they angara land and kodwana land collided with each other and developed very much cracks on this huge mass and because of the plate tectonic movement again they were separated from each other and when they were separated from each other they were forming different continents as we are seeing it today as europe africa north america south america is that clear so that was the general theory related to the origin of the earth so in next class we will discuss about the big bang theory thank you very much students